Got a fun character coming out. And speaking of fun characters, we oh. got Falco ZSS. Wait a minute. Wait a right. minute. These two have been eternal rivals since the Brawl days. Falco used to be able to beat ZSS. Actually, Salem at one point was the best player in the world, and he lost to a random Falco, who's really? also a commentator. You lost to me. And uh. <laughs> <laughs> because the matchup was so bad. But in this game, I would imagine that maybe Falco would win it, or it's like close to the even. Sure. Like we're saying, man, a lot of these matchups are very doable. You know, like no, no character can be counted out. Oh, yes, no character can be counted out. The thing is, though, ZSS is really good at spacing aerials where it stays away from Falco. Like, Falco wants to, like, get in close and do that up tilt to back air type stuff. Yeah. But you can't get the up tilt if ZSS is spacing away, throwing out the down smash, B attacks, etc. That's true. But I, I do think that Falco has the laser. So if ZSS is staying far away, mm -hmm. he can do something a little bit about it. But it's... It's not too much damage, though. Yeah, that's true. It's not too much damage. And then the other issue is that ZSS, a lot of times, will stay... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> will stay, like, slightly far away, like, right. in that mid-range, where yeah. it's like, if you shoot that laser, I'm going to punish you. So be careful with that, too. Like, the range of that. Yeah. Basically, that range is where ZSS wants oh. to be. Goodness, that was interesting. That was a hard read right there, going for that run-up uh, grab. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Did not that even honestly uh, know that. <laughs> it's like a KO option at ledge. Good stuff by our boy Eclipse. Hey. Oh, whoa. All right, as long as you dodge those things, you're fine. 87%, like, ZSS will have trouble getting those KOs if she does not get that, like, down smash or B attack charge. Yeah. Huge opening here. Can he get the KO? Not quite. Ooh. But retreats all the way back and then gets the, the forward smash. I like that. ZSS needs to get this KO soon. Very soon, yes. I'm looking for that down smash or charge neutral B. Mm -hmm. At the ledge, that's why he keeps going for it over and over, hoping if he hits one. <gasps> oh, okay, Falco. That is such a smart option to do there, because he's been threatening that so much, yeah. so reflecting it back and almost getting so much off of it. All right, back like So now that's going to make um, King Chris a little scared to be able to shoot those yeah. high neutral bees. Yeah. Because of the fact that, wow, Falco just reflected it off the ledge, too. Yeah. Oh, almost double dipped him with that double down air. All right, look for something. Looking for that back air. All right, fair off stage, back off stage. Let's see if Falco's gonna go crazy. No, playing Not safe. Quite. Yeah, I think when you have this kind of lead, edge guarding from the stage can be very good. He yeah. gets a good down smash, and he's up three stocks to one. Oh yeah, not bad. However, this is Falco we're talking about. I'm always going to see Falco this way. Falco is so light uh -huh. that like you think, yo man, I'm three stocks to one. It's a game. Falco loses. Like <laughs> he just is so light. It's really hard. Um, yeah. actually heavier than Fox, but still, Fox is like fifth lightest in the game. Yeah. Unless, like, a new DLC, like, is lighter now, but yeah. I mean, yeah, especially if you, like, kind of hit the recovery as he's side being or as he's up being, can be pretty difficult for, for Falco. Can get KO'd at, like, very low percents. Very low. But he's doing really good so far. I'm a little shocked because I feel like... Ooh, ooh, okay, double jab block. It's an up tilt. Into, ooh. Almost had so much off that jab block. All right. Got a fair coming out. Okay, ZSS going in right now, using that mid-range to his advantage. Ooh, oh, Nice. Yeah. Being right outside the getup attack range. Okay. One down smash. Ooh, oh, there it is. Two. Do. Oh. Where are you going? Um, you know, sometimes you just gotta let him come back. You know, give him a freebie. Maybe ZSS has a crush on Falco. Did you, you just, just looking just... at him funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. That was a weird one. The thing was, he did hit the down smash a little bit away from the ledge, so it's kind of yeah. hard to, like, punish that. What are you going to run off and, like, up B? You might, you know, SD. Hit, hit him with something. Okay. All right. Okay, that was interesting. Going for that fair, like, just to barely, like, get him off that platform. Yeah. Man, the spacing from uh, ZSS has tightened up a lot in this last stock. Oh, oh, missing up another chance there. These are two potential KOs that he's dropped. Yeah, this seems like um, that King Chris is having a little bit of trouble trying to get the finishing KO a lot of the times on his Falco. Like, there's two chances where he got the stun. It's, like, more than enough time to get that punish. Oh, man. Okay. I like. I love seeing that. The run, the, the continuous run. Yeah, like right into their shield. I know yeah. a lot of people are like, man, I don't like that you can't run past. But I love that pressure that you put on Yeah, that, with that fake out. Yeah, because a lot of times it'll roll in that kind of uh, position too. Wow. Uh oh. He's out of here. That was the fastest throw. All right, this Falco is looking pretty good. However, ZSS is getting close to pass up tilt to back air range. So it's going to be a little bit harder for Falco to get that KO. So ZSS has the perfect opportunity to be able to bring it back right now. Wait a minute, just as you say that. Uh, oh, no grab there. Oh, snap. Oh, no, what's going on, Falco? Oh, Falco's? no. What's happening, Falco? <laughs> 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 I'm just saying this happens all the time, but there, there goes the back air. That's one of the cleanest ways to get the KO. It's a little hard to just time a random back air like that. Yeah. But he did see that roll and read, so Eclipse was able to get it. For sure. For sure.
It okay. looked like a little bit of a comeback was happening, man. You hate you hate to be on the receiving end of something like that. You hate Especially to when you've won it. so much to get to that point of the game. Yeah. Dang. I feel like Falco's a very stressful character because of that. Because the comeback, being able to come back on Falco is uh, very powerful, especially after they get past that up tilt back air range, like between 90 to 110 or so. Right. If they, like, put enough damage on you, on Falco, that puts Falco in rage where he can't get the back air anymore. And now it's like, you know what? It's all up for grabs. And I've seen a lot of Falcos get good KO confirms. Remember, that up smash was nerfed since the last game, so a lot of times it's not hit right in front of him. Right. Well, let's see. It seems like King Chris figured out what to do over time. Yeah, that last talk in particular, I think he really played well. So if he does that... This, this particular game with all three stocks, he's going to be looking pretty good. He's actually getting a good uh, understanding of how uh, Eclipse wants to tech and how he wants to roll. Yeah. And he's just slightly off on the timing on punishing it, but once he gets that down, I think that could net a lot. Yes, and that's the thing. I feel like he might have been able to actually win that match if he had gotten those two KO confirms exactly. that he was looking for, because there was a lot of damage that Eclipse put on him after that. Yeah. But right now, Falco at a pretty high percent has to watch out for that neutral B and down smash. And again, we see our boy... King Chris going for that over and over, especially near the ledge right here. He's missing it most of the time. Back here. Nice. Nice tech. Mm. But at least he's going off stage a little bit more uh, in the edge guarding sequence. Yeah. One thing I, I, one thing I do want to see from King Chris is more up Bs out of shield. Like, mm. I'll see Falco just throw something out in the shield. That up B might be able to KO. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Barely not being able to get that. Now Falco getting him off stage. Yo, this Falco's crazy. Like, he's one of those Falcos, like, he jumps off the stage and does all that crazy stuff. But remember, after you do that, you have to, you're in a situation where now you have to fire Fox or fire, Bur fire Falco. Fire, fire Bird, no I think. Sound, I think yeah. it's Fire Falco. Like, man, one, one of those, man. <laughs> that sounds like one of those. Fire Fox seems to make sense with Fire Bird. <laughs> what? Falco? All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, but we did see the first kill reached by King Chris this time around. Yeah, yeah. I think that kind of lends itself to what you're talking about, too, where the Falco is going just a little bit too hard. Maybe I'm, he needs to just slide. Oh, man, I take it all back. I take it all back, man. It's around it, that, like, 90 to, like, 110%. Falco has, like, the ability to KO. Yeah. So he needed that KO right then and there, especially when he didn't have the rage to be able to do something. Yeah, certain characters like that re really need the the uh -oh. KO confirms at those percentages, because otherwise he's going to have a really hard time getting, like, a straight back air yeah. to close it out. Oh, no, that's going to be a KO right there. It seems like he's getting mixed up a little bit. Yeah. I, I know that King Chris is going for, like, the same type of KO options. Either down smash, neutral B. Down smash, neutral B. Every uh -huh. time that he has Falco on the ledge, but if Falco decided not to jump off the ledge and down B, thought he'd mix it up. That's he a got, tricky thing. He got the KO confirmed that time, man. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't drop it that time. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm proud to see that. He's doing much better this time around. Yeah, this is a complete reversal from that first game. That's crazy, too, because Battlefield's one of the best stages for Falco. That up B probably would have KO'd. Because I was near the ledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Falco weighs like a paper plate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, somebody, somebody else said I, I got P PTSD against Falco. Yeah, you got, you got no <laughs> faith in Falco. <laughs> Dude, dude. <laughs> I don't. Falco gets like lightly touched. Oh, lightly no, touched. oh, no. no. <laughs> He's at 1%. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> He's at KO percent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All he needs is like one up with potential out of shield near the ledge. Or the down smash, which will be said he's looking for. There nice. goes one. Flip kick into. Oh. Yeah. It seems like he struggles to get that KO when he gets that down smash at the ledge. So you might as well just keep going for that side B. Right. Just use like one of your longer hitboxes on stage or even just clip him with like a back air or something if you have enough time. Yeah, like it's a weird thing where you know you can get KO'd for that. So the right. Falco's side being to the ledge. He knows he can get KO'd if he gets down smash. But every time he's gotten down smash at that position, he hasn't been KO'd. And yeah. there goes a KO 2 stock coming out from King Chris. Yeah. A very, very solid answer from him. No, I totally agree. So he's not really threatening. It, it, the risk to reward for going for that side B isn't really that bad because he yeah. hasn't gotten like harshly punished for it. Hmm. And he's recovered more often than not using that side B to ledge. Oh, yes. So like, you might as well just keep going for it. And again, King Chris, he's actually getting the KO confirms we're looking for. Yeah. It seems like he figured out like if you just hang around Falco but don't get too close, you can beat him up. And um, that's one of the reasons that I feel like ZSS does pretty well neutral against Falco because Falco has to get close. He has to just run in like he sees Zero Suit Sam is throwing out all these attacks. You have to literally just like either roll in or just run in and try to get that confirmed. And also, we don't see Eclipse using fair too much. I feel like that's a good way of stopping ZSS because ZSS short hops and right. then waits and then throws out an aerial. So yeah. if you use fair, you just jump fair, boom, stuff him out. But I'm not seeing it at all from Eclipse at the moment. Yeah, those long lasting hit, uh, hurt boxes, the hit boxes like that can be kind of, kind of useful. We don't see too much forward air, we don't see too much nair. Should be able to recover. Yeah, okay. I like that air dodge to the ledge. You want to try to avoid using up B as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Up B is really easy to punish. 
He's also doing a good job getting out of the corner in a lot of these situations. Like he's not just jumping out of the corner haphazardly. He's yeah. either like rolling in or waiting for an attack and then jumping over that. King Chris is doing playing this matchup yeah. so much better it's, from before. It's such a huge difference, man. Like you just see Falco struggling to get any hidden. Like you see that grab? He got that grab and he second guessed it so hard he waited. Like, wait, I actually got it? Like, yeah. <laughs> it took him a while to do something. And that up he should be able to KO? Yep. Not missing the confirm that time. Very, very important. Yeah, I think a lot of times, like, uh, he, as soon as he's above Falco, he kind of just backs away and resets the usual. Like, he doesn't want to deal with the up tilt. He doesn't want to deal with, like, those huge combo potential that Falco can have if he gets those openings. Yeah, I think he's just completely figured it out yeah, by, he, at this point. He really has. Like, look oh at this. Gosh. Oh, man. Almost a KO already. Like, he's even going off the stage crazy. Oh, that should be up B. Oh. And yeah, he got it. King Chris. All right, now I see why they, they, they don't just call him, you know, Chris. They call him King Chris. Yeah, even though his tag is peasant. Yeah, maybe like Zero Suit Samus is... Anyways, here we go. <laughs> and he's the king? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Yo, this this is so much more one-sided than that first game, man. He, figured, he just figured it out, man. And yeah. right now, Eclipse is having so much trouble. Like, Falco has the strongest combos in the world, but you have to get in to get those combos started. And, you know, he's having trouble getting in. Look at him. Look, look. He's like, come on. Yeah. Just come over here. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Please, let me combo you. Please approach me just a little bit. Okay, here we go. That's, nice. a, good, that's a good one right there. Yep, yep. It's risky to do the side B on the stage because you could get hit by the down smash, the paralyzer. Right. But if you do get that side B confirmed towards the end of the side B, you could confirm that to, like, full hop back air, second jump to yeah. back air. And here we see him just slightly start to threaten uh, Laser now. Oh, oh no! Oh, and he gets He's it! it. Oh, what happened? Yo. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. He finally gets that confirmed. Dude, this guy, like, he he went from rank number, like, 58 oh, no. in this region to rank number 5. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-set. King Mid -set. Chris! <laughs> King Chris! Dude, he's like a he's like a he's like a Dragon Ball Z character. He just gets better as the match goes on. He just takes yeah. out more moves. Yeah, that was really good stuff by King Chris. Uh, Eclipse hopefully be able to bring it back, and hopefully not have to fight Azir with Samus because again a little tough, especially if you don't fare. If you see this Eclipse, just some tips. Hey, I'm right. Hey, hey you're <laughs> bars, hold on, hold on. bars. <laughs> just some tips. Try to use uh, fare a little bit more as approach on Azir with Samus. It might seem dumb, but I, I, trust me, Azir is gonna like, what what over and over. Yeah, we didn't see him use forward air like at all in neutral. We saw him like a little bit off stage mm -hmm. at times. Yeah. How do you feel about laser in that matchup? Because we saw it a little bit at the end, but it didn't really do anything, even when he um, did get it. ZSS has this thing where she just flip jumps and like she can jump from here to Africa in one flip. Like she just flies across the stage. So the so, laser is like, like not yeah, like, yeah. good risk like, reward. You shoot the laser and next thing you know, she, boom, she's on your head. Like it's fair. You're a it's Goomba. Fair. You're literally a Goomba. Dang. So hopefully we'll see. What happens in the future with Eclipse? Maybe we'll see another match of him. And King Chris, you know. Hey. King Chris looking like a king right now. But got the got the clip. Got the Twitch clip for sure. Oh, 